I had said last time I made one of these videos that I was going to do a video of Conception Island. Uh, I had forgotten that we actually stopped in the Turks and Caicos before Conception, stayed in the Turks and Caicos for a week. It was still a very big learning experience. Um, some of it was heartbreaking, some of it was beautiful. It felt very castaway-ish because a lot of the buildings were um, abandoned and there was, there was really not a lot of people. to the Turks and Caicos after the Virgin Islands. It was very barren and there was one place where we were walking and you can see these abandoned houses and abandoned docks that are totally, you can tell they've been washed away. and boats that have washed ashore probably, probably from all the hurricanes that come through and wash the boats ashore. As well as a, a Haitian raft, I'm pretty sure it's a Haitian raft that had floated ashore. There's uh, several parking lots with really no cars. We saw really no cars to speak of on the island. And the only car we saw was actually a horse in the parking lot. There were positive and negatives about uh, about where we were. There not any people. There was no way to pick up the garbage that would wash ashore. But it was so beautiful and so barren and uh, beautiful shells. There was one spot where the mangroves are and that's where the conch shells, the baby conchs, would grow. It was so untouched, there was really not very many people on the island. So you'd find conch shells that hadn't been cut into, that were still solid. You know, just died of old age or maybe got eaten by a bird. And you could actually get whole shells instead of the, the cut in the shell. A lot of the boaters will um, blow their conch shell to each other. Warm outside, I guess. This, is a, this is the cut that you make in the conch shell in the very front. Um, we actually have to cut ours a little more because it's kind of hard to blow into the conch shell. But yeah, you, you do a cut there. And sometimes um, a lot of the Bahamians, you'll see, uh, you know, a cut right here where they actually cut into there to get the conch out. And uh, that ruins the shell because then you can't uh, blow into it. It'll, you know, you'll lose your air through there. So a lot of people, if they have a shell that has a cut there, they can uh, fill it or something, they do something, I'm not exactly sure, but... I mean, there was, you know, some sad parts of the island as well. Uh, there were some starving dogs. We tried to feed them dog food, um, but who's to feed them after we left? Ayla's Acres also owns Ayla's Attic, which is a thrift store. I will put an address at the bottom of the video. And all proceeds go to Ayla's Acres, which is a no-kill animal shelter. One day we wanted to go exploring this island, so we took our dinghy to this island, and uh, it looks like limestone pulled our dinghy up to the what we thought was a beach but it ended up being a bunch of conch shells and all these points were sticking up all over the place we crunched into the shore um, we were really lucky that we didn't you know gouge a hole in our dinghy so then our dinghy was stuck so we didn't realize that we thought maybe we could pull the dinghy over somewhere else to a sandy spot but the whole island was full of conch shells it was just like a conch shell cemetery. So we actually, uh, we were very lucky because 
there was a piece of plywood. You couldn't lift the dinghy up. We had an outboard on it. Um, There's no way to undo the outboard so that we could lift the dinghy because we didn't have the tool to undo the outboard. Drifted ashore so we could actually grab that plywood and drag our dinghy up on the plywood so that we could push it out into the water. So that was a real good lesson for us uh, just to be careful of what, what shore is. Um, sometimes what you think might be a nice soft sandy beach might be a bunch of uh, pointy conch shells. Because it, there was no people around, there, we, there was a lot of wildlife. There was these weird birds that, um, I don't know, I think they were protecting their nest, but they made this weird call to each other. Closer to them, they started dive bombing us. We actually had to leave. We had to leave the island after the week or else we'd have to pay this big $300 thing. Left after the week was up. We couldn't get up around the top of the island. It just, there was no way our boat would be able to point up around the top hill all the way down the bottom and it was hours and hours. It was excruciating. We were the slowest boat. We had a few boats that were with us and we were the slowest ones actually in our group. We'd just see them pass us, and one of our friends had actually came up to our boat, and they had to be careful offshore because when you're rocking, you don't want to collide the mass together, especially with ours. We have a yard arm that sticks out 27 feet, so about, I would say, six or seven feet off the side of the boat, you have another mass that you have to worry about. These guys came over and uh, brought us some fish and they came up next to the boat and actually tossed the fish into the boat. Thank you guys, that was really nice. Good deal. So, see you again next week. This is a Paper Sailor production. Please visit papersailor.com.